Anything that has a very good maintenance schedule will make your garden look well. Keeping lawns mowed, using forest bark in the borders and a few pots and tubs that are full of colour in important places, so maybe by the front door or out on your terrace is always a good idea. We're very lucky down at the Plough and the weather has been absolutely extraordinary and people always want to keep that idea of summer going. So I've gathered here uh, a little bits of late summer colours. So we have plants that we like and butterflies and bees like, like the verbena, uh, another great plant for the garden or even for indoor uh, in your house are these cyclamen. I saw them growing under a tree, uh, just swathes of them uh, in a light pink yesterday afternoon. They're all available in garden centres and a good hardy perennial is this ground cover geranium. So that'll crawl over the place, won't leave any room for weeds and it'll be absolutely full of colour all summer long right into the autumn. Often the garden is the last refuge for wildlife so garden in a more relaxed way, grow things like wildflower meadows, uh, let your garden be a little bit untidy and use, make your own compost, save water whenever you can, uh, install water butts and uh, grow things like nettles uh, which are just fantastic food sources for all sorts of creatures like caterpillars which will become butterflies so garden with nature and create environments for uh, bugs, bees, butterflies uh, and birds.